solve the given linear first order differential equation using integrating factors. x multiplied by dy over dx plus 4y is equal to x cubed minus x. So in order to differentiate that it is a first order differential equation, it has to be in this form, dy over dx plus px times y equal to qx. And we're going to use the integrating factor of e to the power of the integral of px dx. So our first step is going to be to rewrite this in this form, and we're going to divide our x into the other terms. So we're going to simplify this and do dy over dx plus 4y over x is equal to x squared minus 1. So now we're going to define our px, which is going to be 4 over x, and our qx, which is x squared minus 1. So now we're going to find our integrating factor, which is going to be e to the power of the integral of p, which is 4 over x dx. Now we're going to take the integral, so it's going to be e 4 ln absolute value x, which we can simplify further because the e and the ln are going to cancel out, and it's going to equal x to the power of 4. So now we're going to take our integrating factor and we're going to multiply our linear first order differential equation. So we have dy over dx plus 4, 4 times y over x multiplied by x to the power of 4, which is equal to x squared minus 1. So now we're going to And we're also going to multiply this side by x to the power of 4. Now we're going to distribute. So we're going to have x to the power of 4 dy over dx plus 4y x over x times x to the power of 4, which is equal to x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 4. So if we look carefully on this side, it's just a multiplication. So for example, if we set our u equal to x to the power of 4, we take the derivative, which is going to be 4x to the power of 3, and we set our dv equal to dy over dx. Our v is just going to be a y. So our u is right here. So this is, we can write this in the form of du over d, du times, sorry, u times dv over dx plus v times du over dx. And our u is just x to the power of 4. Our dv over dx is our du over dx. And our v is y. And our du over dx is 4 times x to the power of 3, which is exactly here. So now we can simplify the left side of our equation to d over dx multiplied by u, x to the power of 4, times our v, which is just our y. So now I'm going to rewrite this. And set it equal to our right side, right side of the equation. And now we're going to move our d over dx to the right side. So this is going to be x to the power of 4 times y is equal to integral of x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 4 dx. And now this is a simple integral and we can go ahead and solve it. So it's going to be x to the power of 4 times y, which is going to equal x. So our new exponent is going to be, we're going to add 1, and it's going to equal 7. So it's going to be x to the power of 7, 1 divided by 7. 
minus x, and our new exponent is going to be 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. So x to the power of 5, 1 over 5, plus c. So now we're going to rewrite this in terms of y. So y is equal to, so we're going to take our x to the power of 4 and divide it through. So we're going to have 1 over 7 multiplied by x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 5 x, just x to the power of 1. And our c is going to be divided by x to the power of 4, but because it's just going to be a constant, we're just going to write c. And this is going to be our final answer. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.